I must say, I wasn't very impressed with the flight of my uh, Dragonfly and its performance was not all that inspiring because I really wanted it just as a machine to fang around with and anyway, I'm going to basically use all the parts off this and move on to my next homemade job which is a spider hex so basically it's a bit more of a um, standard configuration hexacopter shape with uh, a bit of a difference in that the arms, shorter arms at the front, bodies more to the front, middle arms go back to the central spot, and then you have some longer arms that go to the backward ones. So that's uh, that's what I'm going to build now. So I've designed my central plate, which is basically that shape here. I've made it a little bit fatter at the back, centre way towards the rear, and that's 60 degrees each way. So we'll uh, run the front arms from here out to, out to wherever the end is. Basically it's a, going to be a 500 frame, so that's the start. So there's the first plate. I need a, I'm going to do three plates so that I've got a space to put the ESCs and the controller underneath where the arms all join up. I went out and bought myself this little this little saw because before I was using a full-on hand saw and it was a bit tricky with this uh, little ply. It was making a bit of a mess but I mean it got the job done but this is much nicer. This is a lot neater than my last one. So uh, here we go, moving on. That's my three plates made. And I'm using this 18mm dressed quad to uh, do the arms. Same as this one. That's it there. Cut it into the appropriate lengths and glue it together. So that's my first arm in place. So basically, it comes out from the top here. I'm just going to screw it in to start with. So that's the central point. So where that line comes out to meet the arm should be about 500 or 25 centimeters from the center. But um, giving a 500 hex. So We'll build it up from there. I'm just going to use screws to start, and when I'm happy that they're all in the right place, I'll glue it all up. So there it is. When you run out from the centre along the 60 degree line, 25 centimetres, middle of the arm. So it's screwed in from the other side. So five more arms and we'll have a uh, hexacopter frame. And there you have the basis of the spider frame. So central point there, measure out along 60 degrees, 25 centimeters, middle of the boom. Same out this way, 25 centimeters, straight across, middle of the boom, likewise on that angle, 25 centimeters, middle of the boom. So there we have our basis of the spider hex. Now to start gluing and putting motors on and air series etc. So I've bought these standoffs which will support the bottom plate and on the bottom plate will be the controller and the receiver and uh, I've screwed all the holes for the bottom plate to match up just by drilling through the top plate the, the plate that's there, the top plate's actually there, which will be the battery and we'll put that on now so here is the final product I've got the Hex configuration, pretty standard hex, 
but with a slight difference. Obviously you need to take the ends off here and here. Other than that, all that's needed to be done now is a bit of a test flight. So tomorrow we'll give it a bit of a run and see how she flies.